Welcome back. Wonderful to be here with you as always. Congratulations. You have come to the end of another school year. Or maybe this is your last week of school. The kids here one more week. But in any case, it's here, right? It's here. And so you're thinking one of two things. Either this is awesome. The end of the school year is here and we've got summer and we've got all these plans. We're going to take trips. Kids are going to camp. Everybody's excited. Can't wait. Or you're thinking, I can't wait for school to get started again. I got no idea what we're going to do. It's three months. We've got all these gaps in the schedule. We're going to take one trip and then what are the kids going to do? And I'm going to work and the kids are going to be at home and all of a sudden, summer is not a fun time. So, whether you are on one end of the spectrum or the other, I've got the idea, the idea to share with you that's going to help them fill some of that time. Maybe it's just a couple days here and there, or maybe it could be weeks. The idea, book club. It was actually shared with me by a parent recently. I was back in Georgia doing a couple of parent education presentations. Had an opportunity to talk with a couple of the parents afterwards, and one of the moms shared this with me. So I said, you know, tell me a little bit more about it. Essentially, her boys get together with some friends, eight to 10 kids, uh, once every couple of weeks. And you can do it more often, less often. It really comes down to how you want the structure of it to be. But it's, you know, it's real open. Get together, talk about a book that they are going to be reading in high school. These kids are now making the transition into high school. So kids are a little bit younger. Maybe give them a little bit more freedom as to what they're going to be choosing. All right? uh, so they choose a book. They read it. They get together. They talk about it fairly open-ended. You know, the underlying idea, of course, they get the practice doing the reading. Yeah, they're going to read some of the same books that they're going to read in high school. No problem there because the teacher is always going to have a different perspective on it when they come to the classroom, different questions. You know, they're going to talk about it in a different way. And this is really a nice way, I think, for kids to come together socially, enjoy some time together. They bring the snacks. They can get all this organized. You don't really need to do anything as a parent. Just throw out the idea, right? Hey, what if we start up a book club? What do you think about that? We'll invite so-and-so and so-and-so. Whatever you want to do with it. Hour or two. You know, as I said, once a week, every couple of weeks, once a month. It's up to you to decide. So anyway, heard the idea. Came back, got online, found a wonderful website that really kind of details, gives you a little guideline as to how to set that up. And that's teenreads.com. T-E-N. T-E-A. Two E's and an N. Reads, R-E-A-D-S dot com. I'll put up the website so that way you don't have to try and interpret what I'm trying to tell you. Anyway, gives a guideline as to how to get the club started, maybe some activities you do during the meeting, and then how to select books. So it's a nice guideline. Um, but really perfect for either filling in a couple of gaps here and there in your schedule this summer or really filling in a massive gap and providing a little bit more structure for the summer. So you really you can't lose with this idea. And you know, came from one of you parents. Often the best ideas do. So feel free to continue to share. I know a lot of folks out there are wondering what are we going to do with our summer. So I'd love to continue to get some more ideas that I can then push your way and share with you. Have a wonderful end to your day. I will see you next time. Take care.